Hundreds of pro-family families got together in New York in Albany to make a difference at their state capitol. Hi, this is the Family Policy Briefing. I'm Stuart Shepard here with Jason McGuire with the New Yorkers for Constitutional Freedoms and New Yorkers Family Research Foundation. I want to make sure I get the names right. You nailed it. You nailed it. <laughs> and also David and Jason Benham, who are speaking at the event. Hi, guys. Hey, how you doing, man? You did. I'm hey, good. I, I did not expect that you would actually get all of that right when you said that was a mouthful. I appreciate you your confidence in the, in the work that I do. Man down. You're an overachiever. <laughs> okay. Overachiever. So first, I'm going to talk to this guy about what's going on here today. Tell me the significance of this event. Well, this event is an annual event we have. We're really, we're working just to get the pro-family vote out to remind people that these issues matter. Uh, we've had several hundred people here today that are pro-life, pro-family, pro-religious freedom, and they're just speaking to our state legislature, reminding them that as Christians, we're concerned about these issues. And you're not just telling them what's going on, you're also encouraging them to go talk to their lawmakers. Oh, absolutely. You know, this is not just sitting down and doing nothing, it's getting up and doing something. And so they're going over into the legislature, and they're not only speaking to the issues of the day, but they're praying with their elected officials. They're looking to share the gospel with them. And so we really do want to make a difference in influencing legislation and legislators for the Lord Jesus Christ. At the end of the day, how will you know when it's a success? Well, I think already we're seeing it. We're hearing tremendous feedback from people. They're enjoying it. They feel empowered. There's a feeling of optimism that's out there today. There's hope. You know, our hope isn't in this world, but I'll tell you what, there's a fight to be had in this world, and we're a part of it today. Now, the Benham brothers over here have been in the fight for a while, and, and you guys have been traveling all over the country trying to encourage families just like these here in Albany to get out and actually make a difference in the culture. Why is that so important for you? Well, I mean, we are salt and light. It's what God commands for all of us as believers, and one of the messages that Jason and I are going to give today and as we take it across the country is that it's time for stand up to stand up for our faith whatever the cost. Because the problem today in America is not the presence of darkness. I mean we I mean you flip flip on Fox News, you flip on the Communist News Network, you flip on any of them and we see darkness everywhere all the time. But the problem isn't the presence of darkness, it's the absence of light. And at the same time, stand up for our freedoms, whatever the cost. That's why we're so thankful for Jason and the Family Policy Alliances and the Family Research Foundation like this and, and others. That they're actually doing the work. They're in the trenches. We come in and hopefully encourage and inspire them to keep doing the work. So the difference will be made when the church makes a difference. Oh. Can I steal that? Yeah, absolutely. I like that. That's good. He normally steals stuff from me. <laughs> no, but David and I have been saying all over the country, especially when we go speak to Christians, is that now is the greatest time ever to be alive. That God didn't, didn't put you on this earth or us on this earth back in the 1700s. That was for a different time, but he put us on this earth now, and it's so that we can be salt and light. And light does two things. It exposes the world's evil deeds, but it also exposes your good deeds. And all we have to do is be the light and then let the repercussions be what they may.